What's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? Today we have a new Hall of Heroes video. I don't know how I feel about this new Hall of Heroes. I don't know. Nobody gets that. <laughs> Nobody gets that reference. Nobody gets they're like, are you doing is he doing Robert De Niro? Is that what he's doing? Anyway, Wind Druid, Dryad, Dru Wind Druid Hall of Heroes. Holy crap, that would be hype as hell. <laughs> Wind Druid Hall of Heroes. Wind Dryad Hall of Heroes. Uh, it's the weekend, it's always the weekend. The real question is, can Bagel stretch this out into a 10 minute video? No, I'm not going to. Um, so basically, uh, she's a support unit. Really good for TOA, uh, TOA hard. I mean, you can use anything in TOA, right? Really good for TOA hard. Uh, good for, like, you can use it in Hall of Heroes, you can use it in Labyrinth. Uh, those are mainly the places. If you're early game, you could use it for Giant Speed 10. Um, we'll draw some comparisons to her as well. Absorb the attack gauge, uh, here. First skill, harmful effect. It's not super crazy. 15%, 50% chance. Uh, goes up twice. It's 50, 15%. So she cycles, cycles, cycles a little bit, but it's not like cycling like Praha or CR or something like that. Earth friends, this is the big one. Uh, attacks all enemies to decrease their attack speed for two turns. 50% chance decrease their attack bar by 50%. Um, so this is kind of the thing. Like I was playing with her. She's got runes, by the way. Uh, I was playing with her in TOA and TOA Hard, and the biggest thing that I noticed is that, like, yo, this Earth Friends needs to be max skilled. To be very good in TOA Hard, she needs to be, I mean, you could, like, again, you could use anything in TOA, regular, basically. Uh, as long as they have decent runes, you could use so much random, ridiculous stuff. But, great for TOA Hard if Earth Friends is max skilled. That's kind of the big thing. Uh, reusable three turns, decrease attack age, decrease speed. Uh, you bring her in. We did a video on the, the water homunculus for the, some of the same reasons that the water homunculus is really good. Uh, that we did a few days ago. If you haven't seen it, uh, maybe maybe check it out if you want. I don't know. Um, but even together, those two together, or her just being similar in aspect, similar to the water homunculus and how she works. Uh, Thorn tree passive inflicts continuous damage on the target for two turns with every attack. Every attack, passive. Um, if you attack an enemy who already has continuous damage, additionally inflicts continuous damage for one turn. So we take her into some TOA, basically, to, to show you what she does. Um, let's go into whatever. Is this a, there, there. You know what, sure, this is fine. This is fine. We'll just give you an idea of what she does. But basically, where is she? Oh, she's, of course she's at the end. Where else would she be? Um, but yeah, she's basically a uh, really good TOA hard unit. She's really good. Look at that. Pew. <laughs> she's really... <laughs> you know what? It's not max skilled, though. Uh, it's not max skilled. That, that was a, a little bit of a terrible example of what she's good for. But she's also a really good combo with Tyrant, because Tyrant decreases the attack speed, and then she will... Um, or she reduces... The, well, they both reduce the attack speed, actually. Tyron's a good combo with himself, but you get the idea. I, you know what? This is a fairly uh, free-to-play friendly team, actually. Because all you really need is the... I mean, if you summon a Tyron. But yeah, the second skill... I've, I've tested it a decent amount um, when I first got her, when she first came out. Second skill needs to be skilled up, which is why I never really thought she was very exciting. Because, like, well, you're going to do Devil Monitor? You're not going to Devil Monitor just for TOA. Um, but with the Hall of Heroes... You get enough that she's... You don't need to sculpt the first one, necessarily. Uh, but the second one is... You're going to see a noticeable difference. Um, and the things like this. But the, here, here's... Okay, here's the thing. Is is she better than Beretta? Right? Because everyone's using Beretta. Beretta's got a single target. Uh, he, he does the dots too, right? Beretta does a single target attack age decrease. He doesn't do any speed break. So she's got the speed break in her kit as well. He's got a speed lead, but you could use a lot. I mean, if you're using Fran, you could use that. If you're using... There's so many different things that you could use. Um, the speed lead is, uh, I'm sure you have other speed leads that you could possibly be using. Uh, I do like her a little bit better than Beretta. She's not a must build if you already have Beretta, if you already have the Water Monkus, You might not need her. Most people probably wouldn't need her. Some people might be like, hey, I might use, she's gonna be a good dot for, dot monster for TOA hard. So, um, but that's, that's where I would use her basically. Uh, and you could use her Hall of Heroes and Secret Dungeons because she does, she does basically CC. She decreases stack H and decreases speed. Similar, similar in aspect to some of the units that we're using here. Like, base, like Spectra decreases speed and decreases stack H. 
Uh, Tyron does the same thing. So, yeah, we just got a whole lot of that. Anyway, um, we don't need to have a crazy super long video on, on this. But, yeah, she's not, she's not bad. But if a lot of you might have better stuff, if you have Rika, if you have uh, Water Homunculus, then you probably don't need her too much. But uh, she'd be food for... You could keep her... Don't, don't just feed her to anything, right? You keep her for, like, maybe you get a light or dark, or maybe the water one is pretty cool. So... Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this one. Again, not, Vega, not even stretching to 10 minutes. We don't need to stretch into 10 minutes. Um, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.